In this video, me and my dad put together his brand new two-person working from home desk setup. My parents' old desk setup was just super messy. It was piled high, piled way high with all this stuff, all this crap. There's just paper everywhere. It just looked absolutely terrible. I um I hated it for one. I think it looked pretty bad. I'm pretty sure they thought it looked pretty bad. And it's not the type of place where you would want to be working or like doing your own personal things at your computer. I'd rather use the desk setup. My mom does not use it that much, but my dad uh, tends to use it for like gaming and work purposes. So when we designed the desk setup, we had that in mind. So the desk setup we we're going back and forth with um, the, di the different types of computers that we we're gonna use. And there was a bunch of stuff that either was just not working or was not being used on the desk setup, like computers and computer parts and like different computer organizers and like cable docking stations or whatever. So we got rid of some old stuff and we picked out some new computers to add to the desk setup and just try to make it more minimal and like keep keep it to the essentials what we needed as for cable management there were just there was cables everywhere all over the floor it just looked like this absolutely gigantic mess there's cables all over the floor all over the desks just going in which every direction you didn't even know what they're for it, it's crazy it's the worst like cable mess i've ever seen they were just everywhere in order to transform this desk setup we decided to start by just wiping everything clean, clean slate. After we wiped everything up, uh, we decided we're just gonna start from scratch. So we took the leg, two legs off of one of the desks and then uh, two legs off of the other desk as well. We swapped them around so that all the legs would be black instead of uh, four black legs and two silver legs like we had before. Me and my dad go from Ikea and Alex drawer unit. We already had one, but it did not prove to be enough storage for all the different things that my parents wanted to store in, uh, by their desks. So we decided to get a second one and we built that together. It took us just around an hour to build and it was not too difficult. I think that having a lot of storage by your desk setup is quite important so you can store different um, important papers that you might wanna write at your desk and like certain uh, technology accessories like USBs and stuff uh, so that you can attach those to your computer and uh, do what you need to do because your desk setup is like not only your computer but also like your work area so that's important. Uh, for the undersides of the desks, we screwed in an IKEA unit, which I forget the name of, classically, but it just holds cables and it's this little like uh, metal thing, not like a mesh, but like these metal these metal pieces that are just attached to the desk holding up the cables. And on the underside of the other desk, we attached a very, very, very large power bar unit, which is responsible for powering most of the desk setup. Yeah, my dad's like a foot taller than my mom, so we got it like a custom built uh, monitor stand, like made it, uh, he made it himself out of like these pieces of wood. My mom does not need that. But yeah, we created a monitor stand out of old pieces of wood uh, so that his monitor could be higher up, which is uh, better for his posture. As for desk accessories, we bought just an absolute, a ton of new stuff. We got new mouse pads, new keyboards, or a new keyboard, the mice are the same. And we got a laptop stand to hold a few of the laptops, uh, the ones that we're not going to get rid of. Um, my dad did see my older video, and I was able to convince him that desk pads are much better than most pads. In his defense, prior to this, he was thinking already about wanting to swap out for a desk pad rather than a mouse pad. But I feel like I pushed him over the edge for that, and he got some Razer uh, desk pads that have this nice green look to them. Yeah, so I said that they got one keyboard. That keyboard is like the MX, I think it's called the MX Keys Mini, and it's from Logitech. And it's the same thing as my dad's keyboard, but without the number pad. So I think that keyboard is more like just the essentials because the larger keyboard, while I do think it looks nicer, it's a lot more and you don't really need a number pad in my opinion, most people. So I do have to warn you about the laptop stand. That was a bad purchase uh, because my version of the laptop stand that I got for my old desk setup was a two laptop stand and it was very like the spaces in between the holders uh, were quite thin so it worked much much better with the thin MacBooks but uh, the one my dad got uh, the spaces were very very thick so the laptops which are from Apple and need to be super extremely thin 
just sort of flopped over to one side, which does not look that great, and there isn't really anything that we can do about it. So my dad got a free computer case from his friend, and unfortunately, uh, I think his friend had a comp had a sticker on it before, so uh, he tried to get it off the sticky like the sticky residue, but uh, he was unsuccessful, so he decided to put his own stickers on it to cover it up and put some of his favorite beer stickers on there. As for the sound of the desk setups. Um, it is much, much, much better than my desk setup. My mom has a speaker mounted to the underside of her monitor, and my dad got um, these two white box speakers on either side of his monitor. That I think they just—they're they're quite expensive, but I think they have um, impeccable sound. It sounds amazing, and they get super, super loud if you need them to. If you want to like throw a party or something. On my parents' desk setup, we also placed both of my sister's iPads. A small iPad holder um, on the right side of my mom's monitor. Just so that uh, the cables can all be in the same spot. Uh, so that they can access those quite easily. So as for cable management, it was the end of the day. We got kind of lazy. And we did not really sort the cables based on what they did. Or like bunch them up in a certain specific way. We just sort of grabbed all the cables and like the little cable whatever. It's so, like the, the little docking stations or whatever we need to use. And we just threw them in the IKEA cable holder and just tried to get them out of the way. And we used like these cable Velcro things to hold them together. But the main thing was getting them up off the ground so that you can't see them unless you're like crouching under the desk, which is uh, much, much, much nicer than before. Now I've talked about all that. Here's what the final result looked like. Yeah, I think me and my dad enjoyed building this setup. Um, it was very, very fun, and we're very, very happy with the final result of how it looks. It is a tremendous, tremendous improvement from the old desk setup. That old thing was just looking absolutely horrendous. But the new one, I believe, is quite amazing, and hopefully you can take some inspiration from this absolute work of art that we, do that we have done. All right, that's all for this video. Um, I might do some more desk setup stuff on this channel. I don't know, but if you like the video, you can leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more of my stuff, like I said, there might be more desk setups, I don't know, then you can subscribe to the channel.